Hear ye, hear ye, gather around, ladies and gentlemen. You are joined in for episode 150. We are for 150 of Young Kings Wrestling. Special edition called Theme Song Madness 2. We back again with another bracket, y'all. Welcome aboard. Featuring the Sovereign Sound Board. Yes, sir. You can find us on most platforms streaming podcasts, including Spotify, iTunes, YouTube, Google Podcasts, iHeartRadio, among others. And if you're on iTunes, leave us that five-star review. Links to all the platforms and the merch and all the good stuff available at ykwrestling.com. Go ahead and get you merch like Reek got on right now. Black Lives Matter, NWO Stop. You already know we donate those proceeds. I don't know if you have it on deck, Justin, because I didn't ask you to have it available. Would you do you have the, the pro wrestling? Uh, unfortunately, I don't have uh, my pro choice pro wrestling, but y'all already know. Yeah, if you want to see it, go go back and watch last episode Justin was on. Like he held it up to the screen for a good 30 seconds. So it can't. <laughs> <laughs> all proceeds from that shirt uh go to the women's reproductive rights assistance project. Because in the words of Tupac Shakur. If a man can't make one, he has no right to tell a woman when and where to create one. Mm. Bars. As always, I am joined by, what's your nickname this week? So, in, in honor of what could be his last month on Earth, I'm going to be the Nature Boy of Reek Flair once more. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Not too much? Too much? My bad. It, I'm like, sorry. I mean, when I wore it, at least, <laughs> goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shoot. I needed a warning before that, but I was not ready. Uh, I am the Thespian TC Fontaine, joined by uh, the Nature Boy Reek Flair uh, for an apparent possible swan song, I guess. <laughs> uh, this is okay. So we, we take that and we segue it into our sponsor. This is how we do things here. Uh, yep. Shout out to, <laughs> to SeatGeek. For sponsor in today's episode, SeatGeek is a ticket app that takes the confusion out of buying tickets. They put a zero to 10 score on each ticket from red to green. So you know if you're getting a bad deal or a good deal, if you're getting the short end of the stick and you might not be able to see anything, you're just hiding behind like the little pole that's holding up the whole arena. You know how that is. The pillar, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a fun place to sit behind, so... You want to make sure you're getting a good spot. Go, go, go download that Seat Geek app. Type in the code YK Wrestling. You get $20 off your first purchase, $50 or more. Mm. Indeed. So oh, welcome, y'all. So we have a, a full pack panel today for Theme Song Madness. I'm on my Steve Harvey this time. I'm not going to vote, contrary <laughs> to previous editions. Because you know, we want to try something different. It's a little difficult. Because you know conflicts of interest and whatnot, but we got a nice <laughs> panel here. Of course, we got Reek on deck on the panel. You already heard that, but we got Justin from the Get Show Podcast back two times in a row. Yeah, yep. Like, we went from like not being on the show at all to like being on the show hell of times in the last couple months. Hey, hey, I'm, I'll be down as long as you invite. I'm good, man. So welcome. Thank you for freeing up your time to join us again, and also Black Justin. Yes. So this is gonna be real confusing. It's gonna be real confusing the whole time. <laughs> so we, we got we got just and black Justin. This is got, how I differentiate. We got, different we my got brother, my brother. Oh, we got the Yin Yang twins. Yeah, yeah. Yep. we got Yin Yang twins. Yep. That's it. I like that. I like that. <laughs> just beats the monster. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> so uh if you don't know how we do this bracket thing but how many brackets have we done so far it was our fourth time gotta be fourth or fifth we should do them more but anyway yeah 
it's like our fourth bracket or so. Uh, we got theme song madness too. If you don't remember the first one, the first one. Oh, no, time, time, time out, time, time out. out. What a, you're, not gonna, you're not gonna introduce Lono? Oh shit! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, I was about to say. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. I'm meant to introduce you first. My oh, I am. Right. Oh wow! Ooh. See, I'm already messing up already. This got a three strike policy. So this first strike. Welcome from the Wrestling Wind Down Podcast. Lo is making her debut on the Young Kings Wrestling Podcast. Thank you for having me. I'm excited for this. I I came across you guys' podcast like three years ago, and this is our first time ever collabing on anything. And we live in the same city. Right. You sound like Chris Bay. The first time I met him, he was like, you have to do better. We live yeah. in the same state. You've never come to a show. We have to do better. So I have to do better. <laughs> right. That's why I need to start going to more shows. I go I go to the same promotion yeah. all the time. I need to go to more shows. They've been going as long as, as, as we have, right? Yeah, something like that. Maybe mm-hmm. longer. 2019. Yeah we, yeah, we started in 2019, too. Yeah. Well, I met Malik in 2019. It was like couple months before we even got started so I, f- I feel like a lot of people started in 2019 well we started around that same time as well that's how i met a lot of you guys through social media um must have been something in the water that year to say hey everybody started yeah right yeah right. for real <laughs> <laughs> i know what it was it was aw that's what it was <laughs> <laughs> Somebody say, listen, y'all about to y'all about to be inside a lot, so y'all might as well get to know each other real quick. Hey, hey, that might have been it too. <laughs> we, just, we just got the scoop ahead of time. That's all. <laughs> but no, so your theme song madness. We got 32 theme songs. And uh we got our panel here. Not me, but them. They're gonna vote on which ones. And yeah, if we happen to have a tiebreaker, I'll just break the tie. Whatever one I feel should move on. No, I'll take I'll take a, I'll take some extra, you know, conversation into consideration. We figure it out along the way. We just gonna have fun today, man. So uh, right. let me introduce the theme songs that we have on deck today. Uh, first off, if you remember from our first edition of Theme Song Madness, the winner was uh, Edge's theme song Metalingus. So therefore, he is ineligible to get that theme song on this list because we can't be winning again. (laughs) It's not fair. The whole reason we're doing it again is to right some wrongs from the previous one. (laughs) Right, right. (laughs) So uh, I'll get to that when I get to that. But uh, first off, let's introduce from the She Lead Division, uh, chosen by our good friend, Katie Rasslin, Mm. Katie Kenzie Bay Bay, Mm. She Lead Showcase, shout out to her. Uh, Shout out. Chose a list of eight theme songs, uh, starting with John Cena's basic thugonomics theme song performed by John Cena. Uh, one of two wrestler themes, uh, excuse me, one of two wrestlers on each of these uh, divisions with multiple theme songs. So there's a John Cena theme song somewhere else. Uh, we'll get to that in the meantime. Also, uh, My Time, Triple H, uh, Victoria's Don't Mess With Version 2. The, the screwed and chopped one performed by Hood Stars, aka Nicki Minaj and Safari. Mm. Y'all know who Safari is. Consider yourself yeah. fortunate. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, next up, uh, Love, Fury, Passion, Energy performed by Boy Hits Car. Uh, that's Lita's theme song. You got yeah. RVD's theme song, One of a Kind performed by Breaking Point, CM Punk, This Fire Burns. Performed by Kill Switch Engage, Johnny Gargano's Rebel Heart, performed by Fake Paramore, and uh, Naomi's Amazing Remix. How we feeling about uh, about the Sheely division, guys? A solid. I like it. You think we're going to get a winner from this? I, it's it's going to be a couple tough ones in here. I'm not there's gonna, a good list. There's a lot one. Yep. Yep. Next up from the Smacking Division, chosen by. The number one wrestling podcast on Born Hub, Smacking It Raw, aka I call this the CFOS division. It's a lot of, <laughs> a lot of CFOS theme songs on here. We got a uh, Alistair yeah. Black's Root of All Evil, Keith Lee's Limitless. You know the Bask in His Glory. You remember that? That was a hit. It was a good time. It was a very short time. Uh, also, uh, <laughs> Champa, No One Will Survive. 
this is before you know Champa started getting soft on us. Mm. Change his theme song up. Uh, prime time players making moves, making mm. million dollar moves. Mm. Ember Moon's Free to Flame. Uh, Glass Shatters by Disturb. That was Stone Cold's theme song back in 2001. And uh, Stone Cold is the second wrestler on this list with two solo themes. We got uh, the Brood theme song, Gangrel's theme song, whoever you want to apply it to. Uh, that, that's a tough one right there. That's, that's, a, that's a good one right there. Uh, and and uh, the Kings performed yeah. by Run DMC. That, that was DX's theme yeah. song, man. Yeah. How are we feeling about the snacking division? Yo. There's some that's good ones in there. Yeah, there is, yeah. Me. There's at I'm least make, three on here that I don't even know how we're going to vote. That's what I'm saying. Like, Matt's <laughs> trying to make life difficult. I know. <laughs> the Brood and the Run DMC one, the Alistair yeah. Black and Amber. Yeah, those are. We're going to see, man. Uh, next up, from the Latino Heat division, chosen by our man SES Vince. Also, out, from the Smacking the Roll podcast, we got uh, I Walk Alone by Saliva. That's Batista's theme song. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that, was a fi- that was a finalist last time, right? It was. It was. <laughs> uh, Kane, Slow Chemical. That was like when, when he first took the mask yeah, off. the mask yeah. off. Yeah, performed by Finger Eleven. That was also uh, on the Punisher soundtrack from like 2003. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Hollywood Rocks is cooking theme song. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, this one, this one, this one might be one of them choices right here. This might be one of them ones. Kingdom mm. by Downstate, the mm. theme song of the American oh. Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Oh, <laughs> That's a competition. <laughs> uh, Randy Orton's Burning My Light, performed by, excuse me, performed by Mercy Drive. <laughs> Uh, Eddie Guerrero's I'm Your Poppy. That's that's when he first, you know, turned on Ray and he yeah. had the little slow bop and he walked down. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, we got a Damn. domination. This here's what they call domination. Mm-hmm. Ezekiel Jackson, Big Rick Stevens. A little small tidbit about Ezekiel Jackson. Uh, I was I was watching like old episodes of Chappelle show. Did you know that Ezekiel Jackson's wife was in the Mad Real World skit? Oh, which one uh-huh. was she? Uh, it was like two black women in the skit, and she was like the other one. Was she the one that said, You people? What do you mean? You, yeah, people? Was, yeah. That her? yeah uh-huh. was that her? Uh-huh. That's his wife. <laughs> legendary line, yeah, that's a legendary line right there. Shout out to her, shout out to Big, yeah, Z. shout Let's out to you can do. And then, uh, rounding out that list, uh, you can run the theme song of Billy Kidman performed by <laughs> Fake DMX. Oh my god. <laughs> Is that is that is that the the theme that I told him that he don't deserve he, he, as good as he was as a cruiserweight? Yeah, Fuck. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we might get some good honors for Billy Kidman. Though. How y'all feeling that's about a, this one? That's a cold thing, man. There's yeah. there's also there's also a few on here too. That's like when they start getting la- later on in the bracket. Yeah. It's gonna get hard, yeah. I'm stressed. Mm-hmm. I'm stressed already. <laughs> you straight. It's always good. And then uh, rounding out our divisions from the sovereign division chosen by your boy TC Fontaine. This is also why I'm not on the panel because I I can't vote on the choices I chose because I will be pushing narratives very very hard. Uh, <laughs> It's revenge season, so you know I had to choose. You know I had to choose. The, oh man, like, that I thought was wrong the first time we did this. The whole inspiration for doing a part two. I'm looking at this now. <laughs> Somebody's gonna get it performed by a three six mafia. <laughs> mm. It's revenge season. Mm-hmm. Uh, the only song on this list ever performed on live WWE television by an Academy Award winning artist. Mm. Keep that Grammy, in mind. Grammy winning artist? Academy Award. Academy. They won an Academy Award, Best Original Song, Hard Out Here for a Pimp. That's mm-hmm. right. That's right. I forgot about that. That's the uh, hustle, hustle and Flow, right? Yeah. Hustle, yeah. 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 So, yeah, keep that in mind when we vote. Also, uh, as part of revenge season, I got a lot of revenge choices on here. Uh, <laughs> for the No Limit Soldiers. 
Back in WCW, Hootie Hoo. Oh, man. Formed by TRU, Master P, C, Murder, and Silk the Shocker. You got that one. The only song on this list performed by an NBA alum. That is a fact. Yeah. That is a fact. It's the truth. It's the I got tidbits for sure. Uh, also, <laughs> it's revenge season, and uh, I had to choose this one. This one got put out first thing last time. Reverend Devon's theme song, Eyes of Righteousness. <laughs> Woo. I had to. Also on this list, uh, by Motorhead, Lying in the Sand, the theme song of Evolution. Mm-hmm. That was a banger. Good one. I was like, I, I got like one of them CDs back in the day. That was like the last song on the CD. It was a perfect choice. Like, it's a perfect choice to close out a wrestling CD with. <laughs> Uh, let's see what That's we got. Uh, this one, I don't think uh, Stone Cold ever used this one, but it was on the, what was it, Aggression? Snoop Dogg yeah. and Dub C. Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> I had to look that up because I was like, yeah. wait, I don't remember this. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I, right? I, I remember. Nope. You remember it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Only song performed by a current Hall of Famer in the WWE, Snoop Dogg. True. And uh, rounding out that list, actually not rounding out. Sorry, I have more choices. Uh, two more, yeah. John Cena's second theme song, "My Time Is Now," mm-hmm. on the list. Uh, next up, the second song by Soak the Shocker, MVP's former theme song, "I'm Coming." Which they they got rid of that one quick when he came back. I didn't like that. Me either. I didn't like that. <laughs> I like the second one he had though, but that that's what MVP does. Yeah, the one he rapped on. Yeah. Yeah, shout to MVP. Maybe he'll have one of his songs on here one day. And uh, rounding out the Sovereign Division, New Jack, Natural Born Killers, performed by Ice Cube and Dr. Dre. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sovereign Division, how we feeling about that one? Yeah, that, oof. There's, There's a lot of bangers out here. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's fun. Going, just going off today, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, Lo, since this is your first time debuting on our show, I'm going to let you choose which division we're going to start out with. Which one do you think we should get out the way first? Mm. Let's do Latino Heat. We're going to the Latino Heat division. Yes. All right. Uh, Number one to eight. Seed number one, we got Batista's I Walk Alone versus Billy Kidman's You Can Run. How we voting on this one? Whoever want to go first, just jump in. Just say what you want. <laughs> I, I'm gonna go Batista. I'm gonna go Batista too. Yeah, yeah, Batista. <laughs> I, I, I hate to do it. All right, Batista won. So yeah, K- Kidman is so cold, bro. Like, yeah, I don't but, feel like yeah. he need that. I think I don't feel like that was for it. That like that had to be yeah. for somebody else, and he just hurt. <laughs> like this all the time. <laughs> <laughs> he was he was so, he was so damn good in the cruiserweight division. He did not deserve that theme song. I don't care. I don't care. Uh, yeah. That was a heavyweight track, man. That, right, exactly. Right. Exactly. <laughs> right. Right. That's main right. event level music. You ain't on main yeah. event. Facts. Yep. Y'all think it's the same dude that sing AJ theme, or is it somebody else? Um, I mean, you might that's be onto something, but that's a good question. That's I've good always question. wondered this. It might. Have it's been. good. I mean, they sound similar. Up. Yeah, we got yeah. Google. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah, it's Google. Yeah, it's Google. <laughs> I was about to say that. <laughs> it could be Google. I don't know. I don't know. It I'll might find not be. <laughs> I'll find out. I'll find out. Not right now. But yeah, Batista is moving on as as they should. As they should. Uh, next up, C two Ezekiel Jackson domination versus Kane slow chemical at seven. How we feeling about this one? Let me think. I never cared that much for Kane's theme. The second one. The first one was always cold, but the second one. The original was... with the mask, right? Yeah. You didn't like the one yeah. with the dude singing over it? I would. Uh, no, okay. I never really cared for it. Well, I'm I'm going I'm to just go ahead and say I'm going to do um, Ezekiel. Right now, as Kane is, anything Kane, I'm going to vote against. <laughs> okay. If you know, you know. That's fair. If you know, you know. <laughs> Let's go Zeke. Time to get Zeke. 
I'm going to say Kane just because I feel like it was a good fit for him and it creeped me out. Yeah. 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 I was scared of Kane at that time. I used to write letters in corporate just to get Kane off the TV. <laughs> I was like 10 years old. Why am I 10 year old sending emails to corporate? Oh, Tell him to put I, his mask back on. Tell him to put his mask back on. Listen, Kane debuted on my fifth birthday. That was the worst oh. birthday image I could have ever had is to see this giant motherfucker coming out. Your birth oh Hell in the Cell? Hell in the Cell. The yeah. bad blood? That was what? October 5th. That was what? the year I a turned bur- five years Yo, old. Yo, what a good one right there. Yeah. Um yeah. but yeah, to go with what you're saying, like it, it was also very in line with the see no evil movie that came yes. out the same yeah. right so it was yeah. kind of like the same thing but yeah i mean it, it is a good song but at this moment i can't really rock with him <laughs> yeah. i can't rock with him either but <laughs> yeah. i know i know i know we're thinking of when it happened of when he actually had that theme song i would say that one yeah, yeah. i got you i would you i would you no it was hard though. it was a slap mm-hmm. but uh it wasn't that much of a slap to move on so it's perfectly fine. <laughs> uh, next up, oh, this this is this is a tough one, guys. This is tough. We got the Rocks Hollywood theme song up against Cody Rhodes' Kingdom. Whew. No, nobody want to go. That's crazy. That's I understand. Wild, I'm going Cody. We got one for Cody. Cody's song is just like. It has that effect on people. First of all, the first time I heard it, I was like, I don't know about this. I don't know if I've listened to it over and over and heard it at events and people singing it to the point where I'm like, okay, I actually like this song. It fits him. Um, I don't know. Might be a hot take, but I'll go Cody. Okay. You know what? I, I'm, I'm keeping the buck with you. I'm going to go Cody too. Because mainly because like, I always liked the earlier theme songs better. And this was more about the entrance for me than it was the actual music when I think about it. Like music was all right, but it's like it was his entrance when he did it that mm-hmm. made it that made it really go. So for that, I gotta just go Cody. I'm gonna be rocking Cody too. It's either, the Hollywood one is cool, but I prefer the original Nation of Domination or just the regular rock one. Right? So I, I'm gonna go with Cody. That's a tough one, but I mean, it don't really matter at this point. I go Cody. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but yeah, it's hard to go against my boy the Rock, but um, that it's something about when you hear that that adrenaline, man. I don't know. Yeah, so we'll go with it. Plus, that intro was long too. Yeah, yeah. I, I was listening to that the day I was like. Who is this? And then I heard, it's good. I was like, oh, yeah. I don't know why I thought it was like Undertaker or something. I was like, oh, that's right. That's the rock. <laughs> it takes so long to get started. Right, yeah. right. Nah, yeah, that was kind of part of his heel thing, right? Because I guess yeah. I don't make yeah. him wait for it. I'm, yeah, yeah. Like, so. yeah. It's cooking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, looking at the clock, like, damn, a one minute and 15? What? And people, and people be complaining about Roman's entrance. Yeah. Wow. Oh. <laughs> it was, they wasn't there. Right. Nah, I felt like I was in the presence of God. <laughs> For real. With The Rock? With The Rock? Uh, Roman. Oh, Ro- oh, yeah. See, that's, <laughs> yep. Yep. Yeah. Uh, looks like Cody Rose is moving on. And uh, <laughs> more on, more on Cody Rose theme song when you know next round. I, I have a I have a story, which is I have a story telling y'all why I didn't really like his theme song until like November of last year. Uh, I'll tell y'all that later on. Okay. But next up, uh, RKO Randy Orton's "Burning My Light" versus Eddie Guerrero's "I'm Your Poppy" heel theme song. How we run? RKO. Yeah, yeah. Even though he hated that song and he said it so many times, he hated that theme song. I enjoyed it. I love it. Yeah. The the pyro too, when they had all the pyro behind him too, was also nice. Oh yeah. Right, right. You know. Yeah. This was tough for me, but if you gotta include everything, like we talk about the pyro, I think we're gonna go RKO too. Yeah. Give it to him. Hey. And that's first round of the Latino Heat division. <laughs> so let's move on. I, I'm, I wanna, I wanna just go straight over to the smacking division since we stay on smacking it. Well, we might as well get them 
uh, to complete the first round for us here. So C mm -hmm. number one, we got the Brood, because that's a banger, versus Alistair Black's Root of All Evil. How we roll them? Brood. Brood. Oh, man, that's not even a good discussion, bro. <laughs> I've heard, I've, I've seen and heard the Brood in person. Yes. Once it, it, it last year, heard it again in 2022. Like, oh, you just reminded me how much that shit slaps to me. Would you, hear, would you hear it a second time? At SmackDown? Uh, no, when he, uh, what was it? The Miz. The, that match he had with Miz at day one. Mm. Mm. Oh, you're talking about hearing it in general. Okay, I thought you were talking mm -hmm. about in person. Oh, no, no, no. Per in person was SummerSlam, and then okay. he had the match at day one. Oh, no. Like, I know Jim Johnson was in the studio going crazy when he made that one. He was... <laughs> 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 He was in, he was doing that 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 Kanye joint when he he was yeah, doing the, the music the, with everybody were, like yeah. he was doing that. With this. Nah, you, you remember yeah. you remember uh, you remember Timbaland was making a beat for Lucifer. Oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. that's what Jim Johnson was in the studio doing. He was like, oh man, yeah yo uh huh uh huh. Yeah, I know you feeling this. I know you feeling this. Uh, yeah. yeah, the hey, brew. Come on, brew for sure. Yeah, the brew. I figured the brew moving on. So let's move on again to the next matchup. Champas, no one will survive versus Blast Shatters Stone Cold Steve Austin. Which ball guy theme song is gonna take on? Come <laughs> on, oh, this is this is you know Stone Cold for sure. Yeah, yeah. If y'all don't know, this is when Stone Cold turned heel at WrestleMania. Yeah, like he that might be my favorite. Maybe this like right before that. Yeah. This is a good theme song for Tommaso, though, I will admit. Yeah, it fit him well at the time. I love it. I, I feel like that. if he was anywhere else in the bracket, he might have went, but I can't I can't put that over. Yeah, there. man. Like I, I this is this was a prime chapter for me. I, I said bear like without question, he was the best heel in the business. Oh at easily. That time. But um I just associate this theme song for Stone Cold with, with WrestleMania 17 and mm -hmm. the best promo package I've ever seen. My and the entrance that came right oh, after. I, I got, I got to get to him. Y'all, yeah. y'all know my stance on the match itself, so I'm not gonna get on my pedestal. Right now. <laughs> 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 I got a very unpopular opinion regarding that match, but yeah, Stone oh, Cold man. looks like it's moving on. Mm. Shout out to Stone Cold Steve Austin. What? What? I said Stone Cold. What? what? I said Stone Cold. What? Stone Cold Steve song. What? Is moving on. What? What? To the next round. What? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> I had to get it. It's been a while since I did. I Stone like Cold. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's been a minute. All right. Next up. Uh, making moves, making moves, making million dollar moves. Primetime mm. players versus Ember Moons. Free to flame. I'm going Ember. It ain't gonna be popular, but I don't care. I'm going Ember. I think I'm gonna go Ember too. It fit her very well. Oh yeah, with that little like that little screech sound that came in right before the music hit. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh man, yeah. that fit her persona, like her character, so well. I I gotta go with that one too. And Ember. dude on it on on the million dollar moves. To me, he sounded kind of like if Lil Boozy was taught how to rap by Ari <laughs> from the Saint Lunatics. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> It was, that it was really very much from that 2000 <laughs> era, right? Ooh, it is, yeah. right? Like a little scrappy, like little scrappy. Yeah, yeah. Shots a little scrappy for getting in the ring a couple weeks. Yeah, ago. I was just gonna say that. I was just gonna. <laughs> He hit the craziest looking rock bottom. Can there. he fight though? Can he fight? Can he fight though? And hey, you remember me? So I'm gonna put on him. Yeah, he can fight. Don't say scrap, scrappy. His name is called Little Scrappy. Of course, he do like I say, like, That's the first thing you think of. Shout out to Scrap, man. We gonna have to get Scrap on the show, bro. Yeah, I'm telling you. We, we, we see he tapped in, so I mean, hey. you might as well. I don't know what we talk about. So like, love, all, all, all kinds of stuff. We figure you it out. You talk about like all kinds of stuff. Like, hey, you remember you were in G Unit that time? <laughs> like, you yeah. just, just say stuff. 
<laughs> you would have had everybody, bro. Yeah, they did. Wasn't Mason G in the for me? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Was. Mace? Oh, my God. Mace. Yeah. Mason brother? Mason yeah. Bethel. <laughs> Mason. <laughs> Pastor Mason Bethel. Wow. Was in G June for like, yeah. eight, like six months. Yeah. Wow. Damn. My bad. I didn't mean to sidetrack it. <laughs> no, you good. It is, went down a rabbit hole for real. Yeah. <laughs> Happy belated birthday to 50 Cent, too, by the way. Mm. Talk about 50 Cent later on. Uh, but let's move on to final matchup in the first round of the Smacking Division. Keith Lee's Limitless versus D Generation X. The Kings, performed by Run DMC. Kings of Rock. There is none higher. Sucker MCs. I, I wasn't going to finish it. I'm not that. You call me Sire. <laughs> Come on. All right. Give me Keith. Yes, just, Keith Lee was in that studio belting his heart out. He deserves this. Yeah. Like, like, this song with DX is, is, is dope, but it's not better than the original. Like, come on. Yeah. yeah. It's not, unfortunately. Yeah. I'm going with Keith. I mean, when that theme, when this theme song came on, I remember at a Survivor Series. In you Chicago, were there, huh? Every, everybody was popping off. When that came off, everybody was into it when it came on. And then I hate how they switched it. Yeah. Remember when they fired it? Yeah. Oh, man, it just man. didn't have the same effect. Like, you know, but definitely this theme to this day is like definitely a, a banger. Yeah. Hey. Oh, my God. Keith Lee moving on. Where are we going next? I think we should go. Should we go with She Lee Division or should we go with the Sovereign Division? Which one you look at? You know, which one you guys let's want? Go she Lee. Go she Lee. She Lee. Yeah, yeah, she Lee. Yeah. All right, cool. Let's get that out of the way. Uh, the first round of the She Lee Division. Seed number one, John Cena's Basic Thugonomics versus Naomi's Amazing Remix. It's, 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 it's Cena. Come on now. I love the Naomi. It's, it's, it's C. I'm going Naomi. Whoa. Uh, Uh-oh. See, <laughs> for this is set. tough. This is tough because they're both very good for the times that they came out. Like back in mid-2000, the Thugonomics was the one, you know? Right. But with this whole party thing, you know, Coachella, you know, Coachella, you know what I'm saying? This, this is going to be popping there. But I got to give it to John Cena, though. John Cena. Yeah. Me too. I hate to do it, but yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing against neither one of them. I just that's it's just a banger, man. It is a okay. banger. I mean, Naomi has the entrance and everything. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to her for customizing the the women's title. Yes. That's still yeah. the best customized sold, title. Yes, I know. That I when I thought that they were gonna do that, I wanted to buy one for Natty so bad. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Cause I am not the smartest. I can't put them little LED lights myself. <laughs> you know I'll be like kind of like uh, uh, it somewhere. It, it was just shocking that they missed such a, an opportunity like that. Yup. Oh, they bro, those things would have sold. Wow, man. so bro, shocking. You know how much money yeah. it would have sold. <laughs> <laughs> he says so. Yeah. Like like oh, so much man. money y'all get off of selling merchandise, and y'all just yeah. hey, that one fell into your lap. Yeah. People paying like how many three fifty for that European a replica type? Right. European. Listen, listen, listen. I seen somebody walking around, around, around with a European title last week. I'm yeah. pretty sure. Where'd you get that? From? I'm pretty sure when they made the fiend with that face. Oh the, the yes, trap, that's what that I was, was like six hundred dollars, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, 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 about that. Yeah. Yeah. Not to mention number. that. Not to mention that That's ugly Undertaker. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, remember yeah, the that, that, Undertaker that, had one? Undertaker had one? That ugly ass. Oh, yeah. One? It was yeah. a purple. Yeah. 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 I mean, no offense if somebody has it. The Eddie Guerrero saying, one like... is hard. <laughs> somebody oh, yeah. at the show last week had the Eddie Guerrero undisputed title. Oh, that was, that was yo, that was like, like one of my favorites. That's, That's my a... favorite belt design ever. The undisputed? Yeah, I'm yeah. with you. So, yeah, Naomi, uh, unfortunately. That was a hard one, though. I ain't gonna lie. That was a hard one. one. So if y'all missed last week's episode, not last week, but the last episode before this, check out our John Cena retrospect. We went in Word life. Word Word life. life. Uh, Next up, we got our first uh, woman-on-woman matchup of the day. Victoria's Don't Mess With version two, performed by Nicki Minaj and somebody else versus Lita's Love, Fury, Passion, Energy, performed by Boy. It's called Cleo. This is a hard one. You already know I'm going Victoria. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> y'all know if y'all listen to the show, I have a vendetta, and I have been avenging Victoria for everything that she has not gotten. Period. So damn it, she gonna win something today. Period. So I got oh. Victoria easily. <laughs> Lita. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, stuck, he stuck that in there real quick. <laughs> we got one for Victoria. We got one for Lita. Like, where are we going with our oh, other two? Man. This is tough. Lita used to get some, give me some amp when she came out there when they used to hit, though, man. That's the only yeah. thing. <laughs> you got that. Okay, I'm. I'm. A, a, to be fair, this is tough, but I'm, I think I'm gonna go Lita just for the longevity of the career. You heard it more, but man, the, when Victoria's came out, that was you know at that time, you know what I'm saying. That was definitely a, a banger. But I, I think I could go with Lita. This is this is a tough list. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go Victoria because I still listen to this theme song. I think it's one of those theme songs that you can still listen to. Like you think of like Trish Stratus with Lil Kim. Yeah. That's a really good one. And then yes. you think about this song with Nicki Minaj. It's like. During that time period with the women, it was so rare for them to bring in people like hip hop artists for them. So I'm going to go yes. Victoria because it was something yeah. that was different. And That's you could say like wine. It ages better. In it years. does. It really does. You know how long it took me to realize that, that, that Kim did that, that song? <laughs> I knew it from the jump. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, all right, we got our first tie of the day. So I have to invoke my authority. And uh, if you are familiar with Young Kings Wrestling, you know, you know who I wrestled with all the time back on like SmackDown versus Raw. Was it SmackDown Shut Your Mouth? Was ah. it SmackDown Here Comes the Pain? One of those. Here Comes Smackdown the Pain. Games. I was gonna say probably Here Comes the Pain. Probably. <laughs> no, it was Shut Your Mouth. I remember. Was it, it Shut Your Mouth? Your, okay. It was shut Your Mouth. I used to play. Is the, the the Rey Mysterio was one of the wrestlers. Tajiri was another person, and then Victoria. I used to wrestle with all the time versus all the men, and I could never do the widow's peak on anybody because <laughs> the women and Damn. cruiserweights couldn't pick up big people yeah. in the game. Yeah. And that's part of my vendetta too, because after SmackDown versus Raw, she was not featured again in another video game when she was having the best years of her career. It's an injustice. Really? Oh man. Yeah. From 06 wasn't. on, she wasn't in no games. So oh what? Crazy. And she was on a roster. Yep. No. Oh. And she was stuff. like really like she might have been like that one. <laughs> like, you know. Yeah, like, right. I like that's crazy. All right. And this ain't even <laughs> Victoria's best theme song too. Man. <laughs> right. Can I is there Victoria is there, got undefeated theme songs. So yeah, I hope Victoria yes. goes far in this tournament. Yeah, yeah. you right. So I had to I, I had give to you do. that. I had to Okay, do. so you you go Victoria? You go Victoria? I mean, I still I'm, like I'm, okay, I'm okay. Invoking, gonna go Victoria. <laughs> I'm invoking Victoria. Okay, okay. As okay. the tiebreaker for this rep. Okay. So I remember that when the next round comes, I can get her. I'll get her. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> next up, we got uh, two former ECW champions going head to head. RBD's one of a kind versus CM Punk's this fire burns. Mm. How we roll. I'm going RBD because this fire burns is definitely for the streets. Cause I heard um, Randy Orton get that theme song at one point. <laughs> yep. And I think somebody else had it too. Randy so, had it for one show. Yeah. I was so confused. <laughs> I'm gonna go RBD too. Yeah. My boy said they hoeing around theme songs out here. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, this Clay also for the streets. Yeah, I'm gonna go RBD. Yeah. Too. So we all run with RBD here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the they could at least change the key or something. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to RVD, coolest wrestler I ever met. Mm. I met yeah. RVD at the one place you'd expect to meet RVD at. The Spencer. <laughs> 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 oh, did, did he have his papers at the time? The rolling papers? Or no, he was, was a, there. It was, was like a meet and greet. It was like a meet and greet. Oh, group. okay, okay. Like, it was during the pandemic, and like I seen, I seen his wife Katie tweet about it, and I was like, mm-hmm. I'm not doing shit today. I'm gonna go meet RVD, and I met him. Okay. He was selling like his CBD rub and everything. Oh, all right. cool guy, cool guy. Shout out to RVD, and uh, roll that L. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, Johnny Gargano's theme song Rebel Heart by Fake Paramore versus Triple H's My Time 
by I think his name was Chris Warren R.I.P. Yeah, Chris Warren R.I.P. Who we got? Come on, come on now. <laughs> this is unfair. This pairing. Right. It really yeah. is because I love Rebel Heart, but my time is one of the oh, best yeah. theme songs. Yup. Yeah. Like yep. it was hard. It was hard to switch over to something new after after this. Yeah. Like it was cold. Yeah. That was half the reason I like Triple H as a kid. Like that that theme song was just like that theme song fire. was yeah. That's my first Sunday night heat. <laughs> Yup, yep. yep. Shameless plug. Yeah. Yo, we get, yo, we getting one today. We getting one today. No, we ain't getting one today. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> hey, you were supposed to have one. You know, you got your big day coming up tomorrow. I know. Oh, oh my god. We've been waiting for like a minute. beat ready. It's like two. I, I know. I know. My bad. <laughs> next no, week, I got, maybe. Hey. Probably not. Right, but next right. week, next week, I got, I got a soundbite. I got a soundbite, <laughs> Justin. Uh oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you right? I didn't think that went through. That's my bad. Yeah, <laughs> I was no, voting I, on this one, yo. I, I, my time. Come on. Yeah. This is like the best. I mean, it took me a while to get into the other ones after this. Like, you know, um, time to play the game and the motorhead, the evolution. But my time. If he could, that could have been his theme song for his career. I think he would have been solid. So definitely. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Anyway. I am a uh, I am of the minority that mm. thinks that uh, the game is a better theme song than my time. Because okay. whenever I hear the game, I think of when he debuted, re-debuted at Madison Square Garden. Mm. Oh man. Right. Okay. So like, okay. I gotta I put up, but it's not I about that right now. The game is not on the list. Nobody chose it, including myself. So it's fine. Mm. We can move on. Now I have agendas to push coming up. <laughs> Got a sovereign division chosen yeah, by me. Yeah. And I need y'all to right some wrongs. I have no dog in the race unless it's a tie. But I'm going to need y'all to right some wrongs. So let's jump right into it. Because somebody going to get their ass kicked. Hey. <laughs> somebody going to get their wig split. Come on. Mark Henry, somebody going to get it versus Reverend D. Vons. Eyes of righteousness. How we roll it, Mark Three Henry. Six mafia. Yeah. <laughs> so you put me in a bad spot because I picked against this before and I said I wasn't going to do it, but then you put it up against Mark Henry's joint. So it's like I, I can't. I can't. I, I'm, I'm gonna choose against Three Six Mafia, man. I can't do it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Devon. And I love Devon's reference, the Reverend Devon theme song, but I, I, I can't go against it. Y'all, y'all voting against Eyes of Righteousness on the Lord's Day. <laughs> uh, See, that was a test. No, I'm just uh, <laughs> Hell no. Oh, man. Three oh, six. Man. This this yeah. is one of my favorite theme songs. So, you know, this is during the time when he was, you know, um, when he cut that promo, when he had the salmon suit on, when he was doing that fake retirement. Oh, remember? Yeah, oh, yeah. That's yeah. promo, oh, probably. Yeah. I'll die. And I'll say that's the best promo in wrestling history ever. So he's a Hall of Famer off that alone. Thanks. Yep. Well, that's, that's, why he wore, that's why he wore the jacket during his speech. He had to. Uh, you're right. Shout out to Mark, too. I met Mark Henry a couple times as well. Yeah. Cool dude. All right. I met Booker T before, too. Saying I met Booker T like five oh. seconds after I met Mark Henry. And I told Booker T, I tell this story a lot. I told Booker T, I said, I'm trying to get my hair to catch up to yours. He said, you got about 20 years, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Did he have the, 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 the mustache yet? Yeah, he had the whole beard and everything. <laughs> the checking, out the sh- uh, checking out the gloves. <laughs> checking out the gloves. <laughs> <laughs> Shook it, yucky. Quack, quack. quack, quack. <laughs> Hey, shout out to Book, man. But uh, he's not on the list. Mark <laughs> Henry is. Yeah, Book T. That's my mom's Mark. favorite wrestler right there. Oh, Mark. Yeah, Book T is my mom's favorite. Ever since the uh, Harlem Heat on WCW days. Hey, Ooh. Booker Ooh. T yeah. needs. Hot top. Yo, yep. Rick, Rick, yep. we got to put Booker T on the throne. Oh, of course. We might need a I, Booker T dedicated episode. I thought he's on the throne. I thought he's on the throne. No? We no, might have to. Uh, yeah, truth is. Oh, okay. Mm, yeah. Yeah, we can we put Booker T on the throne coming up. We got to. We got to. We, yeah. Mark Henry moving on. Next up, a natural boy killers performed by Ice Cube and Dr. Dre, the theme song of New Jack. 
versus Line in the Sand, performed by Motorhead. Theme song of Evolution. This might this might be a little tough one. I'm, I'm yeah. gonna try to sit back this and see what y'all do. Now, if New Jack was still alive, this would be an easy decision. But uh, since I'm safe from harm, I'm gonna go with Evolution. I feel it. I'm going to go Evolution too. There's something about that song. They just, yeah. they were in their bag. I just, I'm going. I, I think about it. I heard it a lot, you know, because, you know, after, you know, Randy beat Redacted for Big Gold <laughs> and like it was playing like three times over the course of that <laughs> night, but I was like, I just associated with that. And that was a dope ass moment, even though we don't like talking about it, you know. Right. I'm going New Jack. <laughs> I mean, it went through the whole match. <laughs> like, yeah, it, it did. It, <laughs> it just did. kept playing through the whole. Like, come on, man. New Jack did yeah, not care. <laughs> he said, "I want right. this music playing while I'm whooping his ass." <laughs> See, it's tough because both of the songs like go with the person that represents. You know, what I'm saying yeah. evolution and and New Jack. This like that song definitely goes with him. So, oh man, this is tough. But I might have to be like Rick. I'm safe from harm too. So, I gotta go, <laughs> but I gotta go evolution. I get. <laughs> Was that three to one evolution? Yeah, three to one. Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, I see. I was hoping for the New Jack and Mark Henry matchup. Oh, you oh, wanted Dr. Dre? Oh, that would have been crazy. crazy. I wish yeah. I thought like you. I wish I thought like you and just picked I up. Tried, TC, I tried, TC. I tried. I was hoping like that somebody, somebody say New Jack so I can get this topic. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Well, hold on. Wait a minute. Go ahead. <laughs> Uh, I thought he was about to. About to about no, did we did we vote on the did we vote on masterpiece yet or no? No, not yet. No, oh, no, okay, that's I'm coming, sorry. That's I'm, sorry. I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay. Yeah, that's what that's why I'm host. I thought he was about to be me too. Me too. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we get my tiebreaker ready. <laughs> All good. Oh, uh, man. Next up, performed by Snoop Dogg and Dub C. Hell yeah. Try to get my Snoop Dogg voice on. <laughs> Stone Cold's theme song performed by Snoop Dogg and Dub C versus John Cena's Time Is Now performed by John Cena. Mm. These are the two wrestlers that got the only two multiple theme songs on the list. So who's out of here? No disrespect to Uncle Snoop, but... uh. It's something about that trumpet being played. Something about the horns for the, the horns, last, man. the last what seventeen years now? Year? Yeah, it's seventeen. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Jake one did his thing on that track. Man, listen, that sample go crazy. Yeah, I'm telling you, I'm telling yep. you, man. Had the MOP sample. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I gotta go, John Cena too. Me too. Oh, yeah. John Cena was a wash. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You need to tell me the stone cold Snoop Doggy Dog got swept. I'm, I'm sorry, I, homie. Did you all listen to that too? I had to listen back to it to make sure or, that this Snoop? existed. I, I, yeah. I, I, the, heard it I listened to it like it's on my gym playlist. I listened to it. Dub C could not I don't know what was it, but it just he just couldn't get on that beat. And I think it's like the, uh, the way I, that it was you mixed. Were to me. Yeah, but you if you hear Dub C on Dub C's tracks. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's I ain't what I'm saying comparing it to. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. You look Dub outside, C. you see a shadow crip walking <laughs> Dub C. Right. <laughs> you voted against me, Lo. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get John Cena moving on. It's fine with me. Because it, it, listen. John Cena is arguably the GOAT. Like the, the one. Yeah. Uh-huh. Right. So, yeah, we're He's gonna him. see. We'll He's see him. how far he goes. Because we could get a John Cena versus John Cena matchup. Yep. Yeah. I mean, possible. In the finals, we could get John Cena versus John Cena. Potentially. Damn. We're gonna see. And nobody seeing anybody. Man, listen. 
Like how the referee supposed to count? <laughs> can't see nobody's shoulders down. <laughs> they can't even ring the bell because ain't nobody in there. Right. <laughs> we gonna see. Uh, next up, MVP. I'm coming. Performed by Silk the Shocker versus No Limit Soldiers. Ooh, the, ooh. Yep. Performed by TRU, which also featured Silk the Shocker. Mm. Master P and C Murder. They all brothers, if you did not know. Silk ain't found a beat yet. No, I'm just yeah. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> on the on the MVP. <laughs> on the MVP joint, he kind of had it. Yeah, he had a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I still I'm going. It ain't here. his fault. I'm going, yeah, I'm going true. <laughs> I am going to right my wrong and go no limit soldiers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There you go. I went on to listen to it after I voted against it. On the last bracket for theme songs, and uh, I, I, I committed a travesty, so I have to I have to fix that. Yep. Yeah, I'm going no limit. Yeah. I'm going MVP. Oh. <laughs> I want to say I had a little no limit soldiers beanie back in the day when I was a kid. So yeah. 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 yeah and down here they running rampant. Yeah, I I didn't have a soldier. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't go that hard, <laughs> but I'm going. Yeah, the, 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 the camo, the camo sweatpants. Yeah, the camo. Sweatpants. I got some now, but yeah, yeah. I didn't have them then. Oh man, man. I I used to just want to wear a camo and white beater like Lil Wayne. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I had a shirt all the way down past your knees, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> white tee with the camo, get the little soldier rag going, have, yeah. have my hair braided. I used to yeah. be like this, man. <laughs> <laughs> Not sidebar. This also took the only reason why I took that. Uh, I picked them too is because that also took me back to when Ray Mysterio had his mask off and he was just mm-hmm. Ray, right? Yeah. It. I don't know what y'all think, but to me, I really like that era of Ray Mysterio with the no mask. Yeah. Like he, you know, he got to be have a little bit more personality, and that was very in line with the what was going on. You know, make him say uh, and mm-hmm. the whole um, genre, the whole time of you know, no limit soldiers and stuff. Yeah, hey, Ray, Ray was a gangster out here for a short Yeah, period. yeah. Mm-hmm. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> he, hey, was a gangster. he was a gangster in the 90s, and now he a backpack. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> now he a backpack. He's a backpack. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> oh, I'm a backpack because he'd be jumping on his son back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Aww. laughs> yeah. <laughs> backpack. Hey, yeah. shout out to Judgment Day for saying what I've been saying for two years on this show. <laughs> hey, he, he, he a Louis backpack, because you know he have like little Oh, little, yeah. Little, oh, yeah. Always. <laughs> always. Hey, Ray Mysterio ain't seen, the, ain't seen one of his wife's Louis bags. He didn't like to turn into a mask. Uh-huh. Are hey, you, yeah. hey, you using this? <laughs> he said, I'll buy you another one. I need a new mask for Sunday. Right. Got a big show oh, coming man. up. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Second round. First round is done. How we feeling? Tough, man. This is tough. Yeah, Good. this is difficult. Yeah, it's it's gonna get tougher. It's about to get, it's about to get harder. <laughs> I think so. I was gonna say. It's about to get tougher because uh our next matchup in the Latino Heat Division, Batista's I Walk Alone versus Cody Rose Kingdom. <sighs> I'm gonna let y'all go. I'm gonna let y'all go. Then I'll think about it. I'm going Batista because. (laughs) It's something about the pyro with Batista's theme song and just it screams dominance. Mm. But Cody's is good as well. And I feel like his entrance is his entrance is. It's unique from what we have nowadays, but Batista's has stood the test of time. He's had it for a long time and he's always it's always just fit him. Whatever right. he's been doing, it's fit him. Right. Um, I'll go Batista. I mean, yeah, it's true. I mean, when he does do the machine guns and stuff like that, mm-hmm. it's like, you know, it's it's animal time, you know. Yeah. You all know where I'm gonna go, right? Because you got to go for the home team. I, I got to go for the home team. You know, Batista's half Filipino, so I got to go Batista. You know, so I got to go Batista. Uh, we got two Batista votes now. Uh-oh. Man. All right. All right. All right. 
Um, I'm going to go with Batista, mainly mm-hmm. because this one was such an improvement over the first one that he had. And for yeah. Cody, this one is solid, but he had another one that I was really fond of in 2012 when he was like IC champion. That one I liked a lot too. So, oh, yeah. That one, I, so I'll say, yeah, we, I'll give Batista to it. Plus, plus, like what Lowe said too, like when you had that entrance that I got to mm-hmm. see in person in his last match too mm-hmm. at Mania 35, it was just like, Ooh. it's a vibe. You saw, you saw Woods out there on the, on the, <laughs> the, the, the video later on. He out there was jamming out yeah. to it. Yeah. <laughs> like, he was going like he, he was all of us in that moment because that's how we yeah. all had that moment when we, yeah. heard, when we heard this song. Uh, yeah. That's that's a jam. Yeah, definitely going Batista on that one too. I respect it because uh it gives me an opportunity to tell that Cody Rhodes theme song story. Uh we had like a Starcast karaoke. You remember Starcast? Yeah. AEW's uh first weekend in existence had their first show. So they had a, a, a karaoke little, you know, little panel or whatever. And uh, and the first dude went up there and he sung Cody Rose theme song and it took me until last November to like it for the very first time. <laughs> Damn. Because every time I heard it, I, bro, every time I heard it, I thought about this dude because it's just like, he was the first person to go up. Oh, and no. it's like AEW's first show is, is in less than 24 hours. Mm. And this dude sings Cody's theme song and I was like, this is this is not my speed of people to be around, <laughs> <laughs> and I've been learning it more and more <laughs> like, every few months. So yeah, shout out to I like it now though. Yeah, like, I think like after seeing it at Mania, that's when I was like, all right, this ain't that bad. You must really hate Judas. No, Judas, I love Judas. Oh, okay. it, got, it, got played out. it got played out after a while, but like. <laughs> <laughs> Every now and again, I'd be like, "Okay, Chris Jericho got something right there." Dude, cold. <laughs> it took Judas him like last ten one. years. You know? yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Judas was on the last one. We made sure Judas was on. Oh hell yeah! So we gonna see. Looks like Cody's out of here though. You know, Cody's reign on top was short like leprechauns. <laughs> 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 it is what it is. Next up, we got Randy Orton burning my light versus. This here is what they call domination. Ezekiel Jackson. Fun tidbit know. about Ezekiel Jackson's theme song. Sampled the bra for all theme. Oh, mm. yeah. Uh, yeah. Yikes. Hmm. I, this, this apparently is Ezekiel <laughs> Jackson trivia hour. I'm saying a lot of things. So, I'm, <laughs> so by that logic, I'm definitely going Randy. <laughs> oh wow! I don't need to. I don't need to go back to that time. <laughs> right. I'm gonna go Randy too. Y'all Damn. think they made it a hot song? <laughs> it, um, I mean, look, the song was hot. But, you know what I'm saying? Like Braun for all made it a hot line. Y'all think Zeke made it a hot line? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, Randy, you got this one, dog. Yeah, Randy got this one. For sure. <laughs> all right. That's how we doing, Big Zeke out here. Yeah. So uh, this is the last ever ECW champion. This is how we're gonna do him. Listen, Zeke has suffered worse fates before. I, I recently found out that uh it, when he was in Lucha, it, it, the way they explained him leaving Lucha was that he was killed off in one of their comics. Yeah. Yep. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like literally wow. killed in a comic. Yeah. And, and then bring back man. Lucha Underground. Oh yeah, bro. Bring that wrong yeah. around. I'm just playing. Don't bring that back. No, bring that back too. <laughs> Lucha on the ground they was should, great. They, listen, listen. They should bring it back. Shane need a job. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's true. Right. Let all my back down um, there and mess everybody. His up. own, his own, his own pops fired him. The man need a job. Come on now. Do you remember uh, when they had Black Lotus Triad Squad? That was with the uh, Ice Dry and Kyrie Sang and Ice yeah. Dry's sister. Oh, yeah, they fought. Uh, if you haven't seen that match, man, that's like one of my. That's what put me on to Ice Dry. She had a match with Pentagon. Pentagon. It was, it was all three of them. Pentagon. Yeah. Pentagon. Yeah. Whoa, and she Kyrie had the best Sane, match dude. out of all three. Like she, she went. They went hard in that match. So I'm gonna have to check that out. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah it was him. You see. Oh, 
you just reminded me of something. I've been meaning to rant about this for a long time. Thank you, Justin, for reminding me. Next week, I'm going on a rant if I don't see you, Shirai, again. Because mm. mm-hmm. we, we all know I, I'm an avid fan, and I haven't – I just – Remembered again. I haven't seen her in several several weeks. I thought I, I thought I seen something saying she wanted to go back home. Well, I know that she was injured. I know she's still injured. Mm-hmm. That's the that's Is the she? main thing. Yeah. Cause I know she did get hurt. I think it was like what in your house. Yeah, I think that was uh, the last that, time. That fatal yeah, because I know I know she got hurt there, but oh, for the tag t- for the tag titles with um Starks. There you go. So I was about to call her stat later, but no. Um yeah, Zoe Starks. I forgot yeah. about Zoe Starks. She hurt too. Yeah, yeah she, she should be yeah. back soon though. Listen, if she back before Bailey and they had the same injury, I'm gonna be mad. Oh man, <laughs> I told you, Bailey just trolling at this point. Bailey should have been back. Yeah, if, ba- if I don't see Bailey the week after SummerSlam, <laughs> gonna be trouble, trouble. <laughs> 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 But let's go to the smacking division. Uh, we got the brew versus Stone Cold's Glass Shatters. Yes. Oh, damn. 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 Mm. You know I'm going brew. Like, that's fair. <laughs> yeah, I, I gotta go brew I, too. I love, I love me some disturbed, but I gotta go brew. I'm gonna go brew Same. too. Brewed, yeah. Yeah, that was me. easy. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard, man. Yeah, like, y- y- already if if this was the OG Stone Cold Steve Austin entrance, like this that song, then I'll probably go with that. Yeah, but it'll the, be tougher. I guess the mm-hmm. disturbed one, Bruno just hits. It just hits. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it it was fun. You know, you know what I'm saying that that one for Stone Cold was fun for a time, but you know it this it just wasn't you know. It wasn't gonna last. It basically it was it was a perfect representation of the heel turn. Like it was hot in the moment, and then just you know, right went this way. And then he went to that BS that he had. <laughs> that, it was kind of like that fast one, wasn't it? Like he, no, was he had he had it. that stock music song. Yeah. The biggest star in the company got stock music, bro. Come yeah. on. <laughs> what was they doing? Yeah. Was that when he was like the leader of the alliance? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Nobody ate his wife's cookies. Yeah, <laughs> he threw he threw him like what like uh like rocks against yeah. the, uh, the sea. Like, right. Uh, I seen uh, I think it was, I think it was like Power Bob just who pointed this out because I guess uh I guess like Milk Mania the, the anniversary of that was around this time or something. Yeah, and, uh, I might be wrong, but I seen somebody posted the Milk Mania and they pointed out that you could see Tommy Dreamer sneak a cookie during all the melee. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, he would be the one. Yeah, he would. <laughs> Man. But, but yeah, shout out to Stone Cold's cookies. They're gone out of the tournament. We have no more Stone Cold theme songs left. So I guess nobody chose the best one. Including <laughs> <laughs> myself. It's all good. Next up, Ember Moon, Free to Flame versus Keith Lee's Limitless. I'm going to go Keith. Basking in glory. I'm also going to go Keith. Yeah. This this one's real tough for y'all, huh? (laughs) Yeah, because, man, the ball is a hit. Yeah, you I'm know? sitting here trying to think yeah. of her first. Because as, soon as, as soon as you hear it play, you know exactly who's coming you know, out. You know? That, that don't no. happen no more. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's go, Keith. A lot of, a lot of glory basking. Yeah, I'll probably have to go Keith Lee, too. All right. Keith Lee with the clean sweep. Yeah. Okay. Have to. <laughs> Should be fun. Should be Ask fun coming up. Glory. All right. Let's go back to the She Lead division. And uh all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna let y'all just do your thing. And if I gotta jump in, I'll jump in. But John Cena's basic thugonomics versus Victoria's don't mess with Virgin <laughs> Oh my god. Oh man. This is tough. Y'all, you know what? I didn't choose her last time. I'm gonna choose her now, Victoria. 
Mm. Because my time, I mean, the John Cena's current song is better. So I'm gonna go Victoria. He was rapping better on Basic Thugonomics. He was, he, he was. was, he was, he was, mm-hmm. he was. He was. I'm gonna go Victoria too. No way. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm, 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 stick, I'm sticking to my guns, man. I'm sticking to my guns. Yep. Victoria got to move on. Well, go ahead, man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he said, go ahead. <laughs> just, just said it already. Cena got a better song that's still alive right now, so we going to be yeah. fine. Yep. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's fair. I want my mirror match. I was, I was oh. excited for this time. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, y'all got rid of that idea real quick. Our first <laughs> upset on the day. <laughs> Got our number one seed has been knocked out. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. Next up. <laughs> <laughs> RVD's one of a kind versus Triple H's my time. Oh. I'm going to go with my one. time. I'm, my yeah, time. Got to get Definitely. Got two from my time. Make it three. Dang. Y'all are not playing. I'm going to say RVD. That was RVD's best theme song, in my opinion. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Easily. No question. Mm-hmm. My time is words. one of the best, though. But yeah. I'm going to oh. go RVD. Triple H moving on, taking that shovel with him, beating RVD again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> hell no. <laughs> Hell no. It's all good. You know, Triple H got like three themes on here. Yeah. He does. I know he does. Yep. Technically, yeah. That is true. So we got a Triple H theme coming up again in the Sovereign Division round two. Mark Henry, somebody's going to get it versus mm. Evolution's line in the sand. Choose wisely. Mark Henry. I have to. Got one from Mark Henry. Just for me, like when you're just rolling down the uh, the neighborhood, or whatever, and you're playing that, it people will be like, it, they wouldn't even correlate. That's a a, a wrestling entrance song. That is true. Oh, yeah. It's like that's just a song, you know. So it kind of takes that theme song to another level. Not that I'm trying to sway sway y'all, but. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that, that's good. I used to always look for I used to always look for themes like that that didn't sound yeah. like, like a wrestling theme yeah. song. So if right, somebody right, heard right. it, I could just roll with the shit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like a, like the OG Austin is just like something of like, you know, Rage Against the Machine or something like yeah. that. that yeah. Hmm. Hey. It's tough, man. Yeah. Oh. oh. Yeah. Uh I uh, yeah, I'm gonna say Mark Henry too. Okay. <laughs> he saw he was so relieved. The, the man, the, the smile <laughs> that's so big. It's just a good feel. Hell no. I'm going evolution. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Cool. It don't matter, but cool. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad you feel a little better now. We all feel better. That was a tough one. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. yeah. See, if I was voting, it wouldn't have been tough for me. <laughs> I would have gave Mark Henry right off the bat. Yeah. Thank you, y'all. Appreciate it. Axe is to grind. <laughs> I, I did. I had agendas to push. Uh, next up, we got Hootie Hoo. No Limit Soldiers, I thought I told you. Versus John Cena's. Tom is now. This might be a hard one, though. John I Cena. I would choose. Okay. I, was, yeah, I, gotta it all. Agree. I gotta agree. John Cena. John Cena did what he had to do on that theme song. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm sorry. I gave, I gave them one win. Like, <laughs> I gave them one win. I can't be like, this is... <laughs> Like I, I can't, I can't, I can't switch. I can't switch up now. Like it, it was, man. That was, it was, it was, it was part it of was, my childhood, man. 
I, I, I forgot. I forgot to mention this when we did the scene appreciation episode. You remember Judgment Day when he had the I Quit match with JBL? My man came out with the whole truck at the turntables and everything. Yeah, like, that yeah. made this all that much hotter for me when he did that. Yup. So, yeah, yep. yeah, man. I, I got. I gotta go see. Now. I'm sorry. All right. There you have it. <laughs> <laughs> John Cena, moving on. We're going to see how far he gets. But let's move on again. Back to the Latino Heat division. I almost forgot who we had. Oh, uh, <laughs> Evolution matching up again. Batista versus Randy Orton. Batista's I Walk Alone versus Burning My Light. Who we got? Mm. Batista. Batista. Okay. Got two Batistas. You know who I'm gonna go with. Well, I'm about to say Batista gonna win anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know why it took that long to think. I'm sorry, but yeah, Batista. Yeah. I was gonna. I wasn't gonna say Randy initially, but I'm like, all right, yeah, there you go. There you nah, go. I don't know about that one. I don't know. But yeah, just rock with Batista. Let's just, let's just get it. Out yeah. Of that way. All right, Batista. Moving on to the final four. We got our first finalist. This is also a finalist in our first bracket. Same theme song. Undeniable. Mm-hmm. It's undeniable. Hell, hell yeah. And if Edge is not there, it might go all the way. <laughs> we'll see. Next up wow. in this, yeah. Next up in the smacking division, we got the brood versus Keith Lee's Limitless. <sighs> It was fun while it lasted, Keith. Give me the brew. Sure <laughs> sure yeah, it was... <laughs> you put you put up a good fight, my man, but uh, yeah. it's uh, it's a hundred horses on this one. <laughs> I, can't, I can't help you this time. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Unfortunately, I was gonna say the the brood. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Because for Keith Lee to for this to work, you need Keith Lee. Right, and the only way you can hear it is on WWE. Well, currently, right, mm-hmm. and with the brood, like you know, you saw Edge came out without Gangrel and Christian, so mm-hmm. it still worked, you know. If I'm judging like that, the brood might, we might be hearing it again soon. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I expect. I expect. Uh, uh, you know, I don't know who those video packages are for. That's it's, it's, it's Edge. This got to be Edge. I just, yeah. just want to know why there's uh, Eddie Guerrero and Jeff Hardy and Kurt Angle symmetry. Symbolism it's it's, 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 it's wrong, all people that he either wrestled with or teamed with and stuff like that. Right. And honestly, if you really look at it, it it's a it's real like it reminds me a lot of the old um, vignettes he had when he debuted back in the day. So it's kind of just like the gimmick change. It kind of looked like now he's not going to be. Yeah, exactly. So that's why I say it's, it's got to be it. Like the you be somebody random like Midian. <laughs> oh my god. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Uh, <laughs> not Midian, hell. <laughs> hey, did y'all did y'all watch the uh Yeah, uh-huh. The, yup, the, the, the BSK. Crew. The BSK? I haven't oh, seen it yet. Man. I'm not gonna watch that tonight. Dude, dude, dude you, you have to. Yeah, the dude Midian showed up late. They they had a little splash of Jack left for him. He poured it in. Let's say that's what oh, your ass did. Right. How you show up late? Oh, that's cool. You have the taker. He said, "I thought you were picking me up for the airport." Taker's like, "I've been here." <laughs> <laughs> just to hear, just to hear Taker talk slang is like comedy in itself. Yeah. Like, and he says it so straight. You know how like some people say, "Man, pump the brakes, pump the Drake." He was like. Pump the brakes, guys. Pump the brakes. <laughs> just to hear him say that, it's like, yo. Undertaker just being a normal ass person, yeah. like he's always yeah. been, is, is weird to us. That's crazy. It's, it's, weird. It's, 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 been, it's been revelations all week. His mom wearing the dash. Yes. 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 Blew my mind. Yes, dude. Why is where his mama get a dashiki from? That's yeah. what I want to know. She must have seen it in the store, like, oh, this is not nice. uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> And you can tell that she's she's worn it multiple times. It's got like yeah, little, yeah. like, little like you know, saying. worn out section in the sleeve. Yeah. Like it's, it's, it's got the laundry fade on it, bro. Yes. Yeah. Right, yes. right. 
Yeah. I'm surprised. I know somebody has gotten somebody had to put a koofy on her by now. I know. Oh, dude. No, have you seen the Twitter? <laughs> the Twitter stuff? That's probably the best part. This is the only time yeah. that Twitter has been positive, is that that part right there. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. All That's right. wild. All right, yeah, we, we, yeah, we got hella off track. Uh Keith Lee is gone. Oh my god. <laughs> Last time you'd be hearing that because he lost. <laughs> no more he lost. Right. We found we found limits. Yeah, you <laughs> reached your limit, bro. And your limit was the second round. Can't go no further than that. Yeah, that was a tough matchup, though. Yeah. Third round. My bad. Yeah. Got a little little less of a limit than we thought. Third round. Mm-hmm. Next up in the She Leap Division finalists. Victoria's Don't Mess With version two, our Cinderella story of the day <laughs> versus Triple H's My Time. Oh, God. Uh, I was trying to this keep is up with. Rude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she said it's rude. Uh, shit. Um. See, that could have been Lita. But nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah, this is fucked up. <laughs> I will say this. Like 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 TC said earlier, he does have other theme songs besides this one. But damn my time. Yeah, that one ain't gonna fly with me. I'm going with, <laughs> with my time. <laughs> uh, uh, we got one vote for my time. Yeah. Oh. I, I hate, man. I'm gonna go my time. Sorry. Oh. I gotta go my time. This Justice is hard, for though. Victoria. Okay, I'm going with Victoria. I know people love my time. I love my time, but I got girl. Okay. You know what? I'm hanging in with you. Let's go. We go Victoria. I'm about to oh, sing. I gotta step I'm about in again. To sing. Come on. Do I have to step in again? Oh my gosh. Okay. Because I, 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 oh, I, I thought it was gonna be, gonna be I thought it was gonna be a majority, but we good. We, we still alive. Let's go. I guess I gotta decide now. And uh there's a lot of pressure on me. I wasn't I was not expecting the pressure. Cause I thought, you know, I thought y'all was gonna be all in unison and all in agreement on one theme. I wasn't expecting a sweep, but I was expecting this theme to go on without the need for my interference. But I got to go with a wrestler who I've met before in person. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> and this is one of my goats. This wrestler is one of my goats. This is one of my greatest wrestlers of all time. If you listen to Young Kings Wrestling, I've said it before. I've said it time and time again. I, I used to watch this wrestler back in 2002. And this wrestler had one of, like, another theme song that was fire. And this theme song that I'm choosing is still fire. But it's not who y'all think it is. It's Victoria. I'm, uh, I'm too. Oh, I knew it. <laughs> Did she have all the things she said too? Yep. Yeah. That's what okay. I'm saying. She had. She had some yeah, more she, fire. Yeah. I like. I honestly That's, think I like back in '02. <clears throat> so the Triple yeah. H. But yeah. I mean, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Victoria the ain't the lady to mess me. with. What? Well, as as soon as he said somebody I met, I was like, well, that went my vote again. <laughs> <laughs> no, I never met Triple H. <laughs> that was Victoria. tough, man. D- that oh, man. Thing, it's getting hard. That, it's getting hard. That thing went so much harder when she had that hit list in 07. Yes, mm-hmm. I love uh, that. I, I was, that. I was just watching uh, like early 07, and she was doing that like in the middle of what I was watching. Like I, I remember this, and I don't, I don't know what the payoff was. I think she like disappeared shortly after that. Yeah, which is I was bullshit. happy to see her back. You know, I've been clamoring for her to come back. In the rumble, and she came back. Wasn't no fans in attendance, but it was cool. Yeah, I saw her. That's all I wanted. 
That's Y'all okay. can bring her yeah. back with fans now. Yeah. Right, didn't she say, have like one a... more and then put her in the Hall of Fame? Let's stop bullshit. Yeah. yeah. Didn't she have like a, a really bad leg injury like short after that? Because there was a moment when she was wearing the braces, right? Possibly. Well, she, she wore the braces a while. She yeah. wore the braces a while. She's okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Triple H, my time. Uh, out of here. It's not your time. Grand opening. Grand closing. <laughs> 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 oh. And uh. In our final matchup in the Sovereign Division, Mark Henry, somebody's going to get it versus John Cena's. The time is now. We might be here for a while. 2013 all over again. Listen, get the salmon (laughs) soups out. (laughs) Mark Henry. Mark Henry, mm. I gotta go with three six over John Cena rapping. That's my only decision. Mm. I'm gonna go John Cena. Mm, man. This was tough though. This is really tough. As a Southern boy, I got it. Who, I got who, came, up off a, who came up off a of three six? Cena. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was about to say just that my brothers, my man. I'm like, damn, we had it for another tie. He was like, nope, gotcha, bitch. <laughs> it's like that Uso promo, right? Like right. nobody. <laughs> nobody. Ugh. Yeah. Yep. Oh well. Sorry. <laughs> how, how many votes is that for Cena? <laughs> two. You got two? You got two to one. Do we wait on Reed? No, nah, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, go, I'm going Cena. He's going Cena too? Okay. Oh, so now it's, okay yeah. There's three Cenas. Yeah. This is how y'all do, Mark. This is how y'all do. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is how y'all do. It can't, it can't even get to the final four. Uh, uh, he, swer- he swerved us. He swerved yeah. us so bad. <laughs> Like, hey, Paul is a dog, one you cannot trust. <laughs> That's what I'm go. saying. It's <laughs> how go, dude. You can't, you can't have me in my feelings like that and then turn around and say, no, I'm just kidding. I got a lot left in the tank. Like, you can't do that to me. <laughs> like, you just gonna oh, get away man. with that shit. <laughs> you think it's that easy? <laughs> Yeah, that's how y'all do. Oh, my bad, man. Yeah, we we do a theme song, <laughs> Madness Three next week, y'all. We go next week. Because damn it, this oh. Mark Henry theme song is gonna win one of these damn tournaments. <laughs> We're gonna do as many as many to get him to get him there. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Buffalo yeah. Bills, a theme song. Yeah. <laughs> it's unfortunate, y'all. It is. All right, it, it, it is what it is. So uh, let, let's move over. Let's let's get the sheet lead division versus the smacking division. Victorious don't mess with vi- was it, version two, volume two. What's the V stand for? Version version two. Version two. Yeah, I think so. I wanted to say volume two because I, I wanted to make another uh, Jay Z reference <laughs> randomly, like I tend to do on this show. Uh, but no. Version two, don't mess with versus the brood theme song. Y'all better not let come on now. <laughs> brood. I ain't even thinking I about have, it. I'm going brood. Look, I, I, I just I just need to I have fought this fight as long as I can. <laughs> uh I just I this is one hump I can't get over with this. <laughs> Like uh, and against anybody else, I might have some real deliberation about this. But right now, I listen. I can't. I, I'm sorry. Sorry, Vic. It's got to be brood. <laughs> like, I'm gonna say brood too. Oh, you seem so hurt. <laughs> what was it? It, 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 it do hurt. It, it Victoria, <laughs> Victoria, or brood. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I guess. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I guess I gotta go brood too, unfortunately. <laughs> Big sweeps. 
That was a good choice, y'all. We got it to the final four. I, I feel yeah. accomplished. Yeah, we got to y'all. Was, it, it beat man. John Cena and Triple H. I'm about to say like that. That, that was that. that that's something. That's something to watch. That's something to watch. So mm-hmm. I'm, I'm happy about Cinderella. That. If if they gave out consolation prizes, it would get one. Hurry, Mark Ingram gonna be on it. I'm gonna be on number three. Listen, listen, hey, listen. listen. <laughs> she, 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 she was a bracket buster for several people. So that, that yeah. that's that's what matters. Yeah, including me, including me. <laughs> Next up, the Latino Heat division. Our number one seed, Batista's "I Walk Alone" versus John Cena. The oh time my is god! Now. Damn. <laughs> And it's just crazy too because this is like basically what 05 was like. Like who you really rocking with back then? Right, right. Nice. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I am going John Cena. I would not be a wrestling fan if it wasn't for John Cena. I have to give it to him. I'm sorry, Batista. Man. I'm gonna agree. So I'm gonna base this off of who I had the bigger reaction for that I've seen live. And if I'm basing it off of that, between WrestleMania and SummerSlam, it's probably gonna be Cena. Okay. That should be. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, I I roll with him all throughout, so I still gotta go with Batista. But I'm I'm glad that Cena won. <laughs> <laughs> so just take it for what it's worth. I'm glad Cena won. Damn. Not the, the, as long as I they don't have fun speech. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh is Batista's I Walk Alone the LA Clippers a theme songs? Ooh. You just can't LA get Clippers. past that one level. <laughs> it might be. It might be. It might be. Who, who, who did, did was it was it Jeff Hardy's joint that beat it last time? I think. Jeff Hardy or Edge, one of them. No, y'all yeah. did. Y'all, yeah, y'all no, voted. Did. Y'all voted Jeff Hardy over Edge. Y'all was on some bullshit. No, we we voted over Batista. No, Batista. Batista Malik, yeah, Edge won. We all voted Jeff. over Batista. <laughs> y'all, no, y'all had me that, hot. Listen, <laughs> listen. That it, it was it was hitting back then when that when he was really. He was not fucking up and getting his shit together in 08. <laughs> that song was that was hitting, man. Like he literally fucked up two weeks after his last <laughs> match. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. I will, I guess. Nah, I wouldn't now, y'all that. doing Batista theme song dirty, man. <laughs> but we've come to the end of the road. This is me quoting Boys to Men again. Yeah, yeah. Uh, John Cena's My Time Is Now from the Sovereign Division versus The Brood from the Smacking Division. Our championship. It's our last one. Who we got? Took a while. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. Not not this way, anybody. Just just want to remind y'all what the hell is on the line here. <laughs> All right, now listen. Listen, I, I don't think it would be fair if we just play one theme song. Okay, we, can't all right, just, all right. we can't just play one theme song. Rap so. John Cena's theme song. Let me. Oh. Let he me just said, get. "You'll never catch him in the next man's sweater." That's hard. <laughs> That's, true. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Listen, <sighs> come on now. No copyrighters, man. <laughs> oh, y'all do. You know they will. Y'all gonna vote against the horns? I mean, I am. It's, they still go hard, but I am. <laughs> oh, man. 
I think the good thing about both of these songs is that they span through a large amount of years, like Broods did, as well as Cena's. Like, you know, they they still get played today and they still have an effect on people. Um, Right. I'm going to go Cena. Mm, okay. I it. Yeah, these are these are two tough ones because um yeah, like like they were like you are talking about it's uh it, you know, the thing with the John Cena theme, like it got over cuz Cena was already a made person, but the brood, the brood theme song wasn't supposed to be over. Like it shouldn't have lasted this long. Mm-hmm. So unfortunately, mm-hmm. I know Cena's the goat. I got to go with the brood. So you could have picked John Cena. I was so ready to do the tiebreaker. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, man, whoever I'm, a, I'm a, that, look at that entrance, bro. Like, the edge? I didn't pick one. against that. Is the I didn't pick against that. Yeah. Whoever, um, whoever was doing that, <laughs> you got to you. <laughs> I ain't that go. I ain't that. Go. So man. hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's bring it back. Let's do it again. <laughs> hey, we're doing what now? <laughs> so like it's between the breathing, I'm not that. between the breathing they, or the horn. What they call him, Chuck? <laughs> <laughs> what, what you say, Chuck? <laughs> Put that on a t-shirt on the dog. <laughs> oh man! So it's between yeah. the breathing or the horns. That's that's what oh, we're really looking at. Yeah. The horns. I mean, that might have very well been an asthma attack. I don't know. But it went hard. <laughs> it went hard on that. <laughs> I Somebody needed a, a, a buterol afterwards. Yeah. Oh, no. Let me get that Shout breathing out. treatment right quick. Hey. Hey. Yo, I got asthma, too, so I know what that feels like. Hey, y'all watch Drink Champs? Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Hey, shout out to breathing treatments, goddamn. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to allergy medication. Allergy medication. <laughs> 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 oh man. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our champion, the Jim Johnston produced probably the probably the best theme song ever, low key. I think we should stop having Edge theme songs on here. Cause for the second time in a row, Edge theme song has won. Oh shout out to the brood. <laughs> our theme song Madness 2 champion. Y'all, y'all wrong. Y'all wrong for, for knocking out Batista. Y'all wrong for knocking out Mark Henry. Can't believe it. <laughs> they just they just come up against the wrong people, man. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. Opinion. Like that's not what I expected. Was the the matchup for the second and third rounds. That's what yeah. I wasn't expecting. Yeah. Man. Y'all y'all sorry. really did that though. Y'all let Big, so y'all let Nicki Minaj get further in Ice Cube. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to do with that. <laughs> I, I, you put it like that. I know, I right? Got nothing to do with that. <laughs> you, y'all, y'all let Safari go further than Ice Cube now. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't, 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 don't say that. Not only Cube, but Dre too. The, yeah, yeah, I know Dre <laughs> too. Yep. yep. Oh, I can't, man. I, I can't, I can't be associated with, 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 with Safari getting that that much further ahead, man. Listen, yes, you know, can. <laughs> Come on, man. Like I said at the beginning of the episode, if you don't know who Safari is, consider yourself blessed. <laughs> <laughs> Wish I didn't oh, know man. sometimes. <laughs> this was fun, y'all. Appreciate it. Oh, man. You have a good time? Yeah. Oh, do do yeah. we agree sure. with the Edge having the two best theme songs of all time? We got to do a third one. You know, we gotta do a third one. No edge themes this time. <laughs> Are there any edge themes left that would make it? You, you didn't like the Judgment Day one. It was all right. It was, it was I don't. I could. I'll put a lot of them over there. Um, so I, don't, I wouldn't. I don't think. If it, do I mean, the yeah. rated uh, RKO one. Yes. Mm, yes. Yeah. Hey, what if they yeah. went against each other in the finals one time? Oh man, don't do that. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Maybe I'm next time we get our John Cena, John Cena show them. Yeah. Well, there's some one, there's some ones that aren't on here that that you know for the third one they could be like uh like Carmelo Hayes's. 
I like his old. I like his original. One. His, you the like the his original one better? Um, okay. Yeah, the one with Rusty. I'm the greatest okay. to ever do it. Nobody does it better. Yeah. Better. Okay. Okay. It was okay. the drums though. Like when the drums hit. Yeah. 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 I like the rapping better on the original. I ain't gonna lie. Wendy choose. Wendy yeah, choose. Yeah, Wendy choose. Yep. Yep. Hit road. We're gonna have an NXT theme song yep. yep. next time. We gonna, that's all we gonna yeah. do. That's a fact. Best NXT. Tommaso might yeah. make it further. He hey, might. Hi. <laughs> and Johnny Gargano. That's right. Me. Justice right. for Rebel Heart. Justice. Yeah. Yeah. I hate I'm a, having to do that. Listen. <laughs> I'm gonna go find. Take that one though. I'm gonna go find if Mark Henry ever appeared on NXT and, and find a way to <laughs> just to have. Oh, <laughs> we we gonna do what we gotta do. That's why Edge oh. can't be on there. Edge was on NXT before. He can't get he can't have his on here. <laughs> if your theme song ever played on NXT television, you eligible. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> Let me find out. Mark Henry was on. Mark there. Henry on was. There. Thank because you. I think he was a coach. Yes, he was a pro, if I remember correctly. Yes. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna find him for every time. You for real? Hey, <laughs> he always finds a way. Even Stevens. <laughs> <laughs> my show, that show my age, dude. Even Stevens not that old. No, no that's it's really not. No, no. Not. I mean, like, yeah, you just show me your age. Stall me up. Nah, it's not good. that old. Yeah, nah, you can't. It ain't that old. Yeah. It's, yeah. Right. I, I ain't 30 yet. <laughs> you know what? I remember one time <laughs> I was listening to y'all and you were like, man, I'm old. He was like, but I ain't 30 yet. And I'm my 34 year old behind us and they're like, oh man, okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> I guess 30 is it. That's it. <laughs> You uh, man, yeah. thirty-seven. My thirty-seven ass was like, you know what I'm saying? Wait, like, oh, okay, we all. Let me let me put like some more like lotion on so I see. Right. Right. You know, like, hey, hey. thirty-seven. Yeah, like Kevin Hart. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's yeah, plug our socials, man. We could go man. all day, but yeah, yeah we we getting it out the way early, Mister Ritter. Let's plug our socials low. Oh, our God. First, <laughs> since you, you made your debut here, let us know where they can find the Wrestling Wind Down podcast. Anything else you want to plug? It's your time. Your time is now. <laughs> Just like John Cena. Thank you for having me. You can find Wrestling Wind Down wherever you listen to your podcast. And we are on Twitter and Instagram at WWD CAST. We do have merch. Um, we just brought back our Black Wrestling Queen shirt. Um, and we also have 1 800 War Daddy shirts if you are a fan of Wardlow. 1,000. That's new TNT champion Wardlow. Yes. It took him like three months to give him the belt. Well, who's complaining? Me. I- I'm not the booker of the year. <laughs> <laughs> he said when, when he won the big donut, that's when he should have won the belt. God damn yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a fact. Absolutely. Hey, go get go shout out to the to the black wrestling queens t-shirt though, man. If y'all don't know, let me I'm trying to remember was it Jackie? Alicia Jacqueline, Jazz. Jazz. Naomi, Alicia, Sasha, Sasha Bianca, Bianca, Naomi. Yeah. Mm. That's a banger of a shirt right there. Yeah, that's a lot. Thank you. That's dope. We need more names on it though. We do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We should we should get one. We should we should have an update with Jade on it. Do we get Jade on it? Or we just... So yeah. I actually made that one um for when I went to WrestleMania because I wanted something specific. I couldn't find it anywhere. So I just made it just with WWE women. But I've had people message me and stuff and say that they like AEW women. So I would probably do that on maybe a separate shirt, maybe the same shirt. I really haven't thought about it yet. You're gonna have like the black women in AEW just gonna say Jade and nobody else. You have Ember, yeah. you have Athena. Yeah, she Tara gotta win Logan. something first. They gotta win something first. Yeah, that's true. Like I'm thinking, I thought it was just champions. That's what I was thinking. So I didn't see Crystal Marshall on the shirt. Oh. <laughs> I love Crystal. <laughs> oh man, uh, one of the Justins, man. Let's, let's, let's go with the star. Let's go with the star of Monday, July 11th, 2022. Black Justin. Oh, Black Justin, that's me. Um, yeah, I am not a podcaster. Podcast. 
I am not a podcaster, but for some reason, I'm on two podcasts that's going to drop tomorrow. Oh, it's just two. Um, I was thinking it was seven. Yeah, just two. Now, <laughs> um, uh, Hill Tactics underscore on Twitter is my wrestling page that I just do dumb memes and make dumb nicknames for people like rapper turn singer. Um, and my um, music name is uh, Jaylan on the tweet. That's my music Twitter and uh, my Instagram Jaylan on the beat. Um, what time is it? I don't know. I might drop something on there tonight. Who knows? So yeah, yeah. That's where you can find me. You can hear Cold beats. one of his beats at the top of this episode. Oh yeah, yep. that too. Mm, yeah. Remix. And you got your EP out there, right? Oh, Rooftop. show. Yeah, Come on, Rooftop man. Views. That's on my streaming. Oh, Rooftop Views is streaming. Weekdays is streaming, but that's WKDZ. It's lo-fi, relaxing music. My next one probably going to be like more hip-hop. And the one I just dropped is kind of electronic, but it's also still kind of relaxing. Go listen to it. I've had good reviews. I can't tell you it's amazing. Everybody else got to tell you that. So, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, I got you, bro. Appreciate that. Plug. I got forgot you. to plug his I ain't, Hey, man, y'all know it. I don't, I don't talk about myself. Half of half of the interview is going to be like, I don't like talking about myself. I really don't. So, That's right. yeah. All right, cool. That's why you got us, man. We, t- exactly. we do it for you. We do it for you. I appreciate you. it. I appreciate yeah. it. You know what I'm and just I, got, like... I got something for you. I got something for you. Play as fuck up. <laughs> We do, man. <laughs> get your just. Oh, yep, man. get your's back. It kind of resurrected now. You know what I'm saying? I'm three episodes in. You know what I'm saying? Got a little mm. bit of content out there. You know, um, yeah. You can find me on the Get Your Podcast on the Twitter. Get Your Podcast on the Instagram. Sometimes you can also find me on Marks with Mike. You know, I'm always usually with them. Um, I'm on a recent episode with Smack and Raw. You know what I'm saying? So appreciate this. It's good to do uh, stuff like this with you guys all the time. And uh, you know, my bro just gave me my you know theme song too, my beat too on my on my, on my uh, podcast. So shout out, homie. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> oh man, we gotta we gotta put that Eric, Eric Bischoff theme on here. I'm back. Yeah, get your- <laughs> <laughs> get, get oh, why, that, here. Back why, why hasn't that qualified for a tournament? Yeah. Ooh. 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 I think that'll go all the way. It it could it could. Uh, y'all can find me at Wreak Havoc 24 on Instagram and on Twitter. Also, go check out the Havoc Hour where I'm talking sports and entertainment on all streaming platforms. We find Young Kings Wrestling. Uh, a bunch of my folks up here have been on the show already. Uh, plenty of episodes up there right now. Um, looking to do some new content soon. I had a busy week the last week, so I was off. We didn't have an episode last week, but uh, I'm back at it. So keep checking that out too. And the Instagram as well, underscore the Havoc Hour, underscore. And I am the Thespian T.C. Fontaine, which means I act. You didn't know what a Thespian was. Haven't acted in anything in a while, so I just figured I'll remind you. Uh, but you can follow me at T.C.Fontaine on Twitter, at T.C. Fontaine. Excuse me, at T.C.Fontaine on Instagram, at T.C. Fontaine on Twitter, at FOY Photos 702 on Instagram. Check out my photography. Got some nice photos up from the uh, last few shows I did at Versus Pro Wrestling. Shout out to Versus Pro Wrestling. Shout out. Shout out to my, my boys, Culture Inc. as well. Yeah. Shout out to Squad. Stay woke. Yes, sir. Trying to think what we else. with Booker T? My bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was just with Booker T yeah, uh, that's, that's at, uh, at his Reality show Wrestling. last night. Yeah, Reality yeah. Wrestling. We sponsored uh, them for the event. It took on uh, the the biggest faction in Las Vegas, Lights Camera Faction. Mm. Okay. I, I, I got to see some highlights of that. I couldn't find a live stream. I guess they didn't live stream it like I thought. But yeah, you know, we got to rock with them. They reached yeah. out to us. They said, yo, we trying to work with y'all. So it's been up ever since. They squat. We get Hell yeah. We might, we might be honorary members of a wrestling stadium now. We might have worked ourselves into Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> it like might have like on accident it was a total accident like that sometimes it do it'd be like that it's a dream come true i'm with it yeah i always wanted to be in a stable in a faction affiliated check out that check out that culture Inc. interview 
Yes. It's from back in like what last February? January 2021. You can go to our YouTube page, Young Kings Wrestling YouTube. It's on a playlist. It says interviews. Is is it's in there somewhere. We don't got a lot of interviews, so you don't gotta look that far. <laughs> <laughs> the the Michael Jackson one is on there too. Yeah, Santana Jackson. Oh yeah. mm. <laughs> I I watched that saying. one, dude. That was <laughs> People would be like, oh, you interviewed Michael Jackson? How, how long y'all been doing this? <laughs> but you said 2019. <laughs> <laughs> the I'm saying he's still alive, DDT. bro. If you don't, that's the same dude that beat old boy's ass in downtown yep. Vegas a couple months ago. <laughs> Fremont Street Fred. <laughs> Fremont Street Fred <laughs> whooped his ass. Oh, man. That dude was an Eagles fan, too. I enjoyed it. Damn. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's always a plus. <laughs> oh, my bad. You are not interrupting nothing, bro. Stop apologizing. You no, I'm it. talking about him being an Eagles fan. Oh, I think it's an Eagles fan in here, ain't it? Uh, no. no, not no. him. Oh. Uh, okay. I thought Reek was an Eagles fan at first. Yeah. Hell no. He, hell he, no. he feels worse about himself. He's a Jets fan. Yeah. See, why, oh. he, why you had to tell people that? <laughs> I don't volunteer that information. <laughs> Did you accidentally be, like because they both green? Like how does that happen? Hey, <laughs> but, uh, I kept that on us. <laughs> real, real, real quick before I sign off. Real quick before I sign off, let's talk about how Reed decided to be a Nets fan and now everybody else want to leave after. <laughs> I couldn't suffer no more. I couldn't. You could have stayed where you was at at this point. Shit. Oh man. Y'all got Jalen Brunson now, man. Y'all got a star. Yeah. That's, that's okay. That's okay. Kyrie can go. still got Ben Simmons, right? Yeah. Right. They got Ben Simmons. There you go. For now. Build around him. <laughs> All right. Let's sign off, guys. <laughs> Before this turns into a basketball podcast. <laughs> Talk about yeah, that. Is checking the watch as we speak. I bet. I don't know how long <laughs> we've been going, but we've been going for a while. But it's been fun. It's been real. It's been real funny. And I don't have a song this week because I wasn't I wasn't prepared. But next week, I got you. No, I got you. Oh, it's you never mean? the right time to say goodbye. Chris Breezy. Mm. There we go. Good job. <laughs> that was dope. Do it again. Do it again. It's never <laughs> the right time to say goodbye. But we go. Won't. Gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> <Right here. laughs> <No. laughs>